so yeah we got we're doing a little bit of an experiment today uh, i'm going to be handing out tracks except uh not focusing so much on conversations today i just want to get the gospel out and in as many hands as i can today uh given that the weather is incredible so um i'm going to be riding my one wheel right down here it's go it's uh i'm getting better at it it's my fifth day owning a one wheel but uh grabs a lot of people's attention i'm praying that uh that uh people just kind of take them as i ride by without me falling off so we'll see what happens and then i'll try to engage in some conversations after i'm done riding anyway here we go ride this thing oh yeah let's go man and these guys out, it's trillion dollar track, take one. What is oh, it's a gospel track, basically just Christianity in a nutshell. Yeah, yeah, thanks man. Handing out these guys, gospel track. Like, take one. Woo. Thank you. Like <laughs> tracks, would you like one? <laughs> oh, it's a gospel track. It's like a trillion dollar, basically Christianity in a nutshell. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like a tri it's a trillion dollar bill, so it's kind of eye catching, and it's just basically the message of Christianity. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm handing out these trillion dollar tracks. If you guys would like one? It's uh, yeah, it's basically I'm Christianity. I uh, run a YouTube channel where I have conversations with people on the streets. Oh, okay. So I'm just riding my board around, handing these out, seeing how many I can get out in one day. Okay, cool. But, yeah, yeah, cool. Thank you. All right, yeah, for sure. Have a good day. We'll do. We'll do. Uh, uh, tracks. You like take one? It's a gospel track, um, basically. Yeah, thank you so much. Handing out these uh, tracks, would you like one? Basically like a uh, Christianity in a nutshell. Oh, yeah, yeah, so it's like, like six trillion. I mean, kind of a funny thing because the government Had a good combo. I like your doctrinal look about the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ, but I would probably relook at that. So, Luke, he's uh, talking about reincarnation and how oh, yeah. he believes that death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ, but he also believes in reincarnation. Oh, okay, cool. Is that the best way to describe it? Yeah. Yeah, so oh, I don't cool. really know how to articulate the two of them. How do you how do you melt the two of those together? Yeah, yeah, so just uh, reincarnation in terms of, like, Jesus reincarnated? Or? Yeah. So, like, what do you believe about Jesus, then? I don't know how to put it in the way that I was thinking, but, like, yeah. No. Um, like, uh, do you, what do you think? Jesus, where do you think Jesus is now? If you believe in Jesus and reincarnation. Just, I don't know. Probably just be like hanging around, chilling, somewhere, he's, he's, waiting for like the perfect moment. Okay. He's still a man. I think so. Yeah. I mean, because reincarnation, you come back as a twig or <laughs> exactly. like a slay a snail or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. That's um. That's interesting because like that's. I mean, that's not the Jesus of the Bible then. It's, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, did, how did you get to that conclusion? Well, for me, it's from, like, more of, like, different, like, religions and yeah. different ways of people believing. I've kind of, like, somewhat mixed in some different religions in my own. Right, right. And is that just based upon, like, just your reasoning or, like, how you're thinking about the world? Or yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. So, in, in some sense, does that, would it, would it be fair for me to say, like, you kind of made up your own God? I guess if you in a take, way, yeah. So when you, when we make things up, it doesn't necessarily isn't isn't necessarily true. I, do you believe yeah. do you, do you believe you're right or like it's objectively true? Like this is happens, or do you just kind of feel this way? I, it's kind of how I feel this way, but at the same time, like I want to believe in what well, I want to believe at the same time, but I want to believe in what other people believe as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No one wants to be wrong yeah. or tell people that they're wrong. Exactly. Yeah, no, I, I feel that. Like, it's it's a awkward confrontation, right? Like, uh, even this conversation is not very common. Like, I don't know if you've ever had a conversation like this with strangers. No, I actually <laughs> I, I really had this conversation with, like, my parents or, like, something like that. But, like, yeah. I haven't yeah, had this day, kind of yeah, conversation in, like, years. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. And for me, yeah, all of these kids go by. Hi. Hi. 
Hey. Yeah, for me, it's uh, it's really like, you know, like this. If I say I believe in Jesus, I got to take the Jesus that's um, that's there, even if I like him or don't like him, right? Like so, yeah. even uh, so, Jesus, he said, and it's very well documented that this is actually what he said. Uh, no historians would really disagree. He said he is the way, the truth, the life, that no one can come to the Father except through him. And so yeah. if, I, if I take what he says, now I'm like, oh shoot. Now if I take Jesus, I actually have to say he's the way. He's the truth. And when he says he's the truth, he's the embodiment of truth. Yeah. And so like, uh, what we do oftentimes uh, as people to just like make ourselves feel better is we create image gods in our own image that make us not feel guilty that make us like we can do what we want right like we all do what we want <laughs> in a way yeah yeah but, like i still follow somewhat of god's rules mm -hmm. in his way but like i kind of like drift in some different rules yeah of it yeah 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 so like uh what rules are you following like what was that one what's got that one rule it was like somewhat of like Tattooing. Oh, okay. Stuff of like tattoos. Like, yeah, like, yeah. This get, guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, markings on your body. That's yeah. in Leviticus. Yeah, yeah, that's like if you want it to like sinful in it, like in the mm -hmm. wrong way. But like people can have tattoos in like a good way, like having their like, yeah, they family were portrait it on their body. Right. They're, um, what they were doing was cutting themselves to worship foreign deities in yeah. Leviticus. They were, and um, God was telling his people, like, hey, don't get involved in that. That's like garbage. Stop hurting yourself to worship other gods and basically return to me. And so I, I'm not worshiping other gods. <laughs> like, like, great, great. Uh, I'm happy for it. I think it's artistry. Um, and yeah, yeah but that's, that's interesting. So how do you deal with uh, the other ones? Like when it says don't lie. Like for that one, I kind of it depends on what I'm lying about. Okay. Like say like I did something bad like in yeah. school, like I punched a kid or something. Okay. Like, <laughs> I'm assuming like, this is not what you do, but no, yeah. I definitely <laughs> do not do that. Okay. <laughs> it, it depends on what kind of the kid is. Like if they're a bully, I'm standing up for someone. I'm gonna lie. I'm gonna more tell the truth about that one. But like if mm -hmm. I just punch a kid to punch a kid, and I lie about it, that's it's wrong. Yeah. Yeah, so there's like different justifications for certain lies. Yeah. Okay. And would you say like you maybe you ha you've lied in the past that like you can't really justify? Like it was yeah. just kind of wrong? Yeah, like I stole, <laughs> I stole like a piece of gum from my friend and they're like, hey, do you know what happened to me with the, my last piece of gum? I was like, no. Okay, <laughs> As yeah. I was like chewing it. Oh, that's like. like, what, what oh. kind of gun is that? I was like, oh, it's bubble gum. Like, oh, mine was mint. I was like. Oh, uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> totally. yeah. That's funny because I use that as an example of what makes it, that go. Anyways, carry on. No, no, that's like that's like a two in one right there. That's <laughs> exactly. like that's like lying and stealing in a way. Yeah. yeah so um, and even if it's small, right? Like if you if I took a dollar from your wallet, you would be pretty stinking upset. I'd be like, where's my dollar? <laughs> right. And it's like small, big doesn't really matter. Yeah. And so, like, obviously, it's, uh, the Ten Commandments, right? It shows us what's right, what's wrong. It's his character revealed. We have a conscience. So even if you don't believe in God, you kind of have an understanding of it. Yeah. Like, conscience means with, uh, con, and science means knowledge. And so we're with knowledge. And so basically, we know lying is wrong. We know stealing is wrong. Yeah. Uh, don't commit adultery. Like, uh, Jesus talked about that. And I'm sure, I mean, you probably haven't, I, I hope, but uh, I haven't seen on your... <laughs> but... Uh, um, but Jesus said, if you look at a person or and lust after them, you've already committed adultery in your heart, and that's like, oh shoot, like that like gets at the thought life, like you're you're like, oh my goodness, and he, he um, what God says in, in at least in the Bible says we must be holy as He is holy, and so, and like I'm, have you looked at a person with lust before? I believe like two people, but then I like I was like, no, that's wrong. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah, yeah, no, and I'm I'm guilty of all this too. I, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, man. Like I, I, I'm guilty of it. I, you know, see images. I know I'm like, dude, like that's. I'm objectifying this person, treating him like a piece of meat rather than like an image bearer of God who has value, worth, and dignity. What's wrong yeah. with me? Like I'm, I'm I'm there, and so, like Christianity, and this is why I'm saying we. Make, this is why we make up gods, is because when you deal with God, you get real. And it doesn't feel good yeah. because, well, one, what is a lie? What is saying lies? Like, right? What does it make you? It makes you a liar. Yeah. 
right? If you murder someone, you're a murderer, even once. <laughs> yeah. And so when you lie, you're a liar. And I mean, it sounds like you're guilty, and it sounds like you're guilty like the rest of us. Yeah. Everybody. Everyone's guilty at one point. Yeah, yeah, no one's perfect is what we're trying to say. Yeah. Yeah, and so where's that perfect standard? Where is that found? And how do we, and if there is justice in this world, like, right, man, like I believe, uh, like if God's the judge, I'm not your judge. I'm not trying to judge you. <laughs> uh, like God's the judge. Like everyone likes, likes to shout, God's the judge. But if that's true, I think that's absolutely terrifying. Meaning, because we're all liars, we all thieve, we all commit adultery with our eyes at least, some people physically. Uh, yeah. And then like, he, he, there's a long list, right? These are just a few of the first ones. Yeah. And if God's good and he's gonna punish evil, that means we're all in big stinking trouble. Yeah, yeah, and that's what we're out here doing, saying how do we get out of that trouble? What did God do? And you, know, you have a belief in God, so what did God do? Die for our sins. Yeah, yeah, in the person of Jesus, right? Yeah, so you believe in that. Yeah. Yeah, so he died. <clears throat> um, here's the thing, like, yeah, so you, it sounds like you understood this. But he lived the life we couldn't, right? Perfectly, like you and I have not done. He lived the life perfectly, died the death we deserved, resurrected on the third day, vindicating his life as uh, righteous, holy, and good. God vindicating him, raising him from the dead. And through that, we turn and trust in him, and we might experience new life. He changes us from the inside out. And that's where uh, it, it gets real, because we don't like being confrontational. But Jesus said, all authority, like Jesus said, all authority has been given to me. And he said, go therefore, baptize, preach the gospel, what we're doing right now, um, to everybody, everybody you see. And, I, and it's by faith and faith alone in him that you're saved. And I, I'm concerned because if we get him wrong, we get the gospel wrong, and that's not a saving faith, right? If we're making up gods, those are gods that don't exist. Yeah. If I, like, I would, um, I have Mormons, Jehovah Witnesses, uh, Muslim people that I speak to, atheists, agnostics. Like, we all create our own deities, whether it's ourselves or it's some other god. Yeah. Right? And so we make these things up, but they're just imagination. They're figments of our imagination. Yeah. And, I mean, man, like, we should try to see if, if, if there is a god. He probably doesn't agree with me 100%. Yeah. <laughs> and this god, I wouldn't make him up because he finds me guilty over and over and over again. But now, if justice is to be served, is poured, about, poured out upon Jesus, he took the punishment, he took the sin. God's anger was poured out upon his son and all the anger due towards us. And so, yeah, that's um, like, do you believe all that? Yeah, definitely. You do? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, man, um, yeah, like uh, what, so, does it make sense what I'm trying to say in terms yeah. of making up a God? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, how do you feel about that? I feel like it's some parts are really about making up a God. Okay. But like, at one point we're all still believing in a God. Mm -hmm. like in a way of like, someone is more powerful than anybody else. Yeah. Yeah, and so, uh, yeah, like, and Jesus said, you know, he's a king of kings. He's a lord of lords. Yeah. He's above all. His name is above every name. And so, like, back when that was uh, a thing, when we started, Christians started saying that, the Roman Empire saw that as a threat because they were like, well, no, Caesar's king, not Jesus. And Christians got killed everywhere because of that proclamation. So it meant something. And it means something today. He's, uh, right now, and I can tell you with this with complete sincerity, because I, I know I know this God. He's, uh, he's changed my heart, saved me from the pits of hell. And he's ruling and reigning right now. He has all authority, and he's gathering his people, and he's going to come back to judge. And what I'm concerned about is if we try to represent ourselves and try to be like, yeah, you know, Jesus, you're cool, but I'll take all the rest too. Like, you know, the, these guys, they are worshiping someone else, but there's some good things in them. That's just ripping God off. Everything good is from him. And so we have to, we have to put worship where it's due. Our hearts like to go after other gods. Yeah. And that's just the same thing with Israel and with like all the Old Testament. That's like God's people kept worshiping other gods. And God is only the one, the one only to be worshiped. Yeah. yeah.
Like, wasn't it this one time where, like, in part of the Bible, uh, he went to above a hill and started to, like, pray to God. Mm -hmm. But he came back down to seeing his people praying to other gods. Yeah. Yeah, they actually built a golden calf. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the story you're thinking about. Yeah, it's uh, going up to, uh, he went to get the Ten Commandments. Yeah, Moses went up to get the Ten Commandments. And when he came back down, everyone was bowing down to other gods because they're like, God, abandon us. And then, uh, yeah, and then judgment was poured out upon those people. Yeah. That, um, that sin deserves punishment. The, uh, the Bible calls death wages. We earn it, which sounds so messed up because we're like, that's not fair. But in reality, what's fair? <laughs> like, right? And so um, I don't want fairness because fairness means if he's the judge and he's good, he's not a, a judge that just says, oh, that guy murdered someone, but you know, I just feel like letting him go. Yeah. Like, that's, he's not like that. <laughs> and same with us. Like, he's not just going to let us go. It has to, we have to be found in his son in faith. I forgot I was meeting up with someone. Oh, <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. What was your name? Uh, Jacob. Jacob, Luke. It's, it's spelled completely different than you think. Oh, okay. How is it spelled? Uh, J-A-K-E-O-P. It has an up Jake. in it with Jake. Okay. Almost like a Caleb slash Jacob. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Jacob, my name's Carl. I like your hair, man. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm, it's cool that you uh, are that uh, at this age you're thinking about these things. Yeah. Um, we're going to let you go because you said you got to go. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, just realize that uh, I think that as you do you have room for these things, I'd love to oh, give yeah. you a book. Um, this is the Gospel of John, and then this is a book about everything we just talked about. It's basically answering whether or not you can actually believe in God. And it's, they're short, they're short. <laughs> so nothing like monumental or homework for you, I think, but it's just something yeah. that God can Especially the Bible. The Bible's like this <laughs> Well, that book yeah. actually at the end, it says it's written for people trying to figure this thing out. Yeah. And it's a book of the Bible. That's what yeah. I've been trying to do, figure it's like God. Yeah. So that small book is the is part of the Bible, but it's actually the intention. John, the author, he wrote and said, this is for people, like unbelieving people that are trying to figure this thing out. This yeah. is why it was written. So anyway, man. Cool. Take care, man. Yeah. Take care, Jacob.